Beautiful flower for our flower. Hula dancing from the Johto region. And that's a real shame, because I don't think we live this. All right, I should have done that Giga Drain. We finally reached the end of the run of starters and seven star terror raids. Unless, of course, we get some for the Paldean starters, which would be fun. Torterra really embodied everything that made me fall in love with terror raids. I love the pattern recognition. I love the creative problem solving, the critical thinking. It presented us a clear problem. Shelf match two times in the raid and then clearing its debuffs. And it's a mixed attacker. So we can't just rely on our AI allies with Intimidate to carry us like against plain physical attackers. It really forced us to think outside of the box. And that's what I think I love the most about terror raids. I found this braid to be very difficult and I actually got the build for this video from my chat. So thank you GPS boy 97 for the build. Let's get right into it. Would you take a look at this beautiful flower, the star of our video, ready to not so easily, easily solo. Uh, the full build is in the description, but to do this HP and defense EVs, 26 HP up, 26 iron and throw in a calcium for those four extra EVs and special attack. Modest Mint to boost the special attack, give us a little extra attack power, but we're trying to make the flower as bulky as possible so we can survive Turbo Turtle time and that scripted earthquake near the end of the raid. Bellossom's ability doesn't matter for this terror raid, none of them help it. Bellossom's moveset is the main reason we're using it. Quiver Dance is incredible in this raid. It boosts our special attack power, boosts our special bulk, and allows us to outspeed Torterra despite the Shell Smash. So we have Quiver Dance to answer Earth Power, then we have Charm to help us survive uh, the physical attacks, the rest of them, that's your Wood Hammers, your Earthquakes, your Smackdown. Ideally, you have uh, an Intimidator or two next to you, one Intimidator, but as you'll see, you don't need it. That'll help uh, nerf the physical attacking damage. And Acid Spray, a Terra Raid staple, soften up toward Terra for some massive damage from Giga Drain, which also heals us. Just like the EV spread, I'm going conservative with the held item. Go with the Covert Cloak to prevent any shenanigans with the special defense lowering from Earth Power. You can't have it. If that happens, you pretty much lose. You don't have a lot of margin for error in this raid. No Intimidator, no problem, maybe? Probably not, but we'll give it a go. We're gonna start with the turn one charm. I much rather have an Intimidator for using Bell Awesome because we can raise our own special defense with Quiver Dance, but we can't lower Torterra's attack once that shield is up. But we have the Charm from Sylveon for now. We have the Light Screen from Belly Bolt to help us special bulk. Yeah, English. <laughs> it's been a long night. And then Sylveon also has the chance of Moonblast to lower Torterra's special attack. Make sure to check out the description for the turn-by-turn -turn steps to follow. But I'm gonna walk through it. This, unlike some builds, this has a bit more decision making than I would like to have in a solo build. I like it, turn your brain off, follow step X, Y, and Z, and you're done. But we're gonna start with the turn one charm. We're gonna dig a drain until our stats are nullified. And if we start the turn and get, if we can already terrestrialize we don't need any HP. Then we can decide, hey, maybe we Acid Spray, maybe we Defense Gear. But let's, we're gonna Giga Drain here. Until our stats are nullified, because then we can start Quiver Dancing. Then we, then things get fun. Now remember, we have that Covert Cloak. That Covert Cloak, so our Special Defense will get lowered. There is our stats getting nullified, so let's swing a quiver dance. Raise our special attack, defense, and shield. And then let's see how much damage we take. Because we're most like, yeah, we're gonna want to heal up here before we go again. Because the shell smash is coming after this. Nah, it's 201, it's 201. No, let's heal up. Let's heal up. We're gonna heal up, heal up, heal up. Cause there's the shield. Can we get this attacking before the shield smash? Shell smash. Holy cow. My speech impediment from when I was a child is coming back. I would like mess up my L's and my R's. I'd be like, aw. Okay, so we get our attack in before the shell smash. So we will go first. We will restore our HP. So that's our one clever dance. Terrastalized Giga Drain. Let's see some damage. Beautiful. 
So now we'll want to get off another Quiver Dance. We will need three Quiver Dances to outspeed Torterra now, which is definitely not ideal. It would have done a lot more damage with a physical attack, thank you. Okay, so it's removed the negative, so Acid Spray is back in play for us. There's a Shell Smash. It's a little scary now. So we're going to move into our second Quiver Dance. This is the scariest part of the game. Uh, crit here could end your run. You, uh, Earthworm. Earthworm. Most consistent solo build. Probably more consistent than this. I just, to be honest with you, I don't really like using it. I don't find it that much fun. But it works if you really just want to get an easy one. Hit it and quit it before Shiny Rick Plaza raids in a couple weeks. Be my guest. I was really hoping that Weezing would work with the Levitate. But unfortunately, the AI, it's just not consistent enough because... There we go. With Levitate... Smackdown will get rid of Levitate. And sometimes the AI will just keep using Smackdown on you and you win easily. And sometimes it uses Smackdown on you turn one and then Earth Power turn two. So I don't press the Levitators here. So right now we have two. We're at 212. For that, I'm going to, at 212, I'm actually going to Quiver Dance one more time. So I'm going to alternate. We did Giga, Giga Drained. I'm going to do the alternating Quiver Dances to Giga Drains right now. And yeah, we don't have the Intimidator, but we have that Belly Bolt with Light Screen. And we have Sylveon. Helping out with the Moonblast, doing its part. Once we get past the Shields... Then Charm will put in absolute work. So there we go. We can heal up now. We're three Quiver Danced up. We were already faster at two. Very nice. Put us all the way healed. I like the fourth Quiver Dances because that way, once we pop the shield, we'll only need one hit. One hit and be out of it because at the end, there's that scripted Earthquake, which will do a lot of damage. Taking those two hits back to back is going to be brutal, especially because... I mean, we don't have an Intimidator. So you're going to want to have an Intimidator. That will make this whole process much less nerve-wracking. But I wanted to demonstrate the power of this build by doing it with an Intimidator. Another good AI ally, Gardevoir. Get those light dudes. A little scary. Critical hit would have made us pass away. Where it's a plus four. We should be able to heal fully. We're not going to pop the shield. We're going to get close. We can go ahead now and instead of alternating with Giga Drain, we're going to alternate with Acid Spray. Because now we just need to soften up Torterra because we just want to get out of this raid as quick as possible. Because we are afraid of that scripted Earthquake. And so that makes me think, like, hey, if we're so afraid of that scripted earth, we get 35%. We might want to consider. We might want to consider the charm when we pop the shield. So let's go ahead and heal up. Alternating. Oh, shield almost popped. Uh yeah, let's let's pop the shield and then charm. Because uh, right now, if the shield pops right now, we're not at... We're not at minus six. We got to go down a little a bit further. We're taking about half... I'm going to Acid Spray. I'm going to Acid Spray. See, I don't like all this decision making. And easily solo, you should not have to make decisions. You should press A, win the game. Too many... Too many decisions all right there is the shield pops okay i can't charm i thought about charming we need to deal damage this is not going to finish in one hit however because we're not at minus six we're at minus five rats okay heal us up heal us up and this is going to be the scripted earthquake i believe back to back and we're going to survive with maybe 50 hp Oh, no, we're good. Okay, we're out of here. Okay. Again, you want the Intimidator. But still, 
The sun will never set on the Danimal Kingdom. Our final starter has been easily soloed. Which leaves us with just one remaining question. What Pokeball are you using to catch 7-star Torterra? I'm going with the Safari Ball. It's a must, some would say, for a nice grass-type Pokemon. Beautiful. And shout out, it looks like the Great Bay, the map on Super Smash Bros. Melee. If you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like, leaving a comment, using Giga Drain on that subscribe button for more Dan Squared. Thanks for watching, and happy Torterra season.